Hello again, my name is uh, Russell Scott at uh, scottcarvings.com. Today I want to talk a little bit about uh, my book, one of the four books that I sell, and uh, many of the DVDs on scottcarvings.com. Uh, I'm going to talk, uh, what I want to do is I want to discuss, uh, this book here is called 15 Wood Carving Patterns for One Cutout. It's actually one cutout can do all these patterns that I have in here. So in other words, we're going to cut a, make a cutout like this. And I just want to make sure that uh, people understand who do purchase this book, uh, if it's that uh, I, that they understand how I made the cutout, and so I'm going to make one. And so the pattern is I'm coming up. There's my pattern right there. And what I'm trying to get at is that this is a carving, the cutout that is made by holding the piece of wood in a diagonal like this on the blade. In other words, 90 degrees up. And when we're done, we'll come out with a pattern like this. Or a cutout like this from the pattern. Okay. Now the thing I wanted to show, I wanted to show how this is done So that uh, people who do buy my book will understand, or you can also give this a try. Um, even though we're going to be carving at an angle, like this, a 90 degree angle, um, it's you still want to have a nice firm grip on the wood. But um, I'm a lot of people might be a little nervous, thinking it'll snap out of their hand. But I've been doing this for years and years, and. I've never, I think maybe one time when I first started a long time ago with the little one, it snapped out of my hand. But other than that, all you have to do is keep a, a relatively firm grip as, as uh, you're cutting. And you don't have to worry about it snapping out of your hand. Now the reason why I like this cutout is that you get more carving out of your wood. In other words, if you use the same type of pattern and you, you cut the regular flat wood way, you wouldn't get as much carving. Now this book here, I'm going to show you how to do There's two sides to, to doing this, just like any other cutout. And um, let's see, what did I, I think I just, I'll just move right along here. Now I'm going to start with the front. Oh, that's the thing I want to discuss. Now I have here at seven and a half inches long on a one and three quarter inch square block of wood. Now you could make this thing bigger by let's say if you had a two inch block of wood and you can probably bring it out to eight, eight or eight and a quarter. So in other words, the the wide, wider the wood, the you know, and the longer the wood, you can uh, be proportional, or you can go out of proportion and and keep a a inch and three quarter wood and probably nine inches and make a thinner piece or thinner Santa or vice versa uh, same same uh, type of wood same size wood but uh, shrink it and make it squattier it's uh, it's uh, open for design now I'm going to find the grain the grain I can't find with all the with all of the uh, wood cutting there which way the grain is I think the green is more this way. I like to have the green. There it is. I like to have the green sort of going from ear to ear, you might say. Uh, but uh, usually it doesn't it doesn't matter. But if you want to do details in the front, and most of the details in the front, then you want to go green this way. Call it ear to ear. All right, I'm going to start with this. Now you could use your any kind of uh, measuring device, it's up to you. I, I get to a point where I can pretty well eye it in. All right, make sure I'm in the camera here. Come up here. Got a little bit of sunlight. This should have probably bought some light here. Extra light. And I'll go like this. And then I'll come down a little bit this way. Come down a little bit this way. And then come out. Looks like it. it uh, you can add, make the head bigger, smaller. Then come down about halfway. 
Yeah, it is actually about halfway. Go at an angle like this. It's kind of hard. I mean, I can do this without that. I get the camera in the way, uh, as, it, as it were. So far, so good. And then just a little bit off this way. Now, the thing that's very interesting about this is that, uh, according to some of these pictures, now this one, this one is kind of shaped. This one has most of the wood. You know, it has this little thing back here. If you're going to do a Santa a hoodie, Santa. This also has, uh, if you're going to have a Santa that has something in front or something else or whatever carving in front. I have like an Abraham Lincoln that you might want to cut, you know, take this much off or you can carve it out. But the main thing, it's this pattern gives you the most wood out of all the patterns. And so, if you'll, I'm going to turn the camera off and put my... Uh, here, man, my mask on. Make sure you when you do your cut and you uh, put your uh, your mask on so you don't uh, get into the dust into your lungs. Be right back in about ten seconds. Okay, I'm back and uh, here we go. This is the part of the wood that's coming off. I put this somewhere so I don't. Okay, for side two, we've done the first side. Now we want to flip it over. This is about, oops. Again, you can measure exact, or it depends if you want to add some extra, I don't know, face to it or. Actually, I'll go this side. It's a little more comfortable right now. And again, this is going to stay at a 90 degree angle. This is going to go away. Again, if you want to, if this is uh, one of my characters that have the, the, the legs and the feet, you could you could uh, cut that part off, but I'm going to keep it right there as a Santa. And I like to flip it over this way. Get to a point I just like to flip it one way or the other. That disappears. And let's cut it. I'll be back in 10 seconds with my air mask on. Okay. 
When we do this, this might uh, you could you you can still hold on to it. It might be a little rocky, but you still can uh, cut it without any uh, mishaps. And uh, there you have it. Uh, again, this is uh, Russell Scott, scottcarvings.com. And again, this is one of my books. 15 different cutouts or different pa uh, patterns from the same cutout. Can I get in there without hurting my blade here? There, I got. Uh, Mr. Pumpkin Man there, and there's a Viking in there. Mr. and Mrs. Santa. Santa Santa with a uh, stocking, uh, angels, uh, Santa Lucia, nativity. Well, of course, you have to have just a block of wood for the nativity. Shepherd, Native American, Abraham Lincoln, and Mr. Pumpkin. There's another angle. ScottCarvings.com. That's where you'll find this and others. Thank you.